Hey, Thursday night. I thought I would do a video because I haven't done one in a while. I wasn't sure what I would talk about and then I remembered that somebody recently asked me what some of my habits are that are really kind of odd because I do them compulsively. So I thought about it and it's the kind of thing you don't think about so when you try to think about um, what those things are it's kind of interesting when you find out you know what comes to mind so um, I have very little memory on this I just tried to update something on here and it was too large of a file to upload so I will try to make this fast so the first weird thing that I could think of that I do is if there's fur or hair of any kind in my keyboard underneath the keys I have to once I start picking them out I can't stop this is really bad. This is really, really, really bad. Um, it, you know, it's at the point where I try. I'm very self-aware, and I try not to even look at the keyboard. If I start, then it's just all over. One time at my last job, um, the fire alarm went off, and I was sitting there picking <laughs> fur out of my keyboard, and I. You know, the, the fire alarm was going off and I could not stop. I had to just sit there and focus on getting, you know, pulling hairs and whatever fur out of this keyboard. And it was really bad because I was the manager of the center and I was supposed to be going around looking for people <laughs> to see that they were getting out and being okay and all that stuff. And I was just sitting there obsessing <laughs> over my keyboard. Okay, so moving on from that. Um, another thing I do is I drink water all day long, literally all day long from the time I get up. There are a couple of medications that I have to take first thing in the morning, half an hour before I eat. It's very specific. And so when I get up, there's half a glass of water right there. I take the meds and then I have another whole glass of water at breakfast and it just continues on from there all day long. The colder the water the better and if I can possibly have fresh lemon juice squeezed in there that is the best. So I therefore go through a lot of water, ice, and lemons and club soda because if I'm nauseated I will drink club soda instead. It's kind of nice. Um, another thing that I do compulsively is if there's something going on in my life, some decision I have to make or something that's bugging me because I don't know what the outcome will be and it's making me nervous, I will play solitaire cards. I've been doing this since I was 13. I've been doing it with the same deck of cards that my uncle won at a some kind of game in either Reno or Vegas when we were there. Um, I spent my childhood with my family going to Reno or Vegas a few times a year to go skiing and um, rafting down the Truckee River and those kinds of things. So my brother and I spent a lot of time in casinos when we were growing up and um, family members giving us little things there um, were kind of a theme in my childhood and it was fun. So this deck of cards is one of them. I That's another thing actually. I can't really play with any deck of cards but this one, this game of solitaire that is. And it's kind of funny, um, at this point they're falling apart and the Six of Diamonds has a corner missing, so I always know that that is the card. But it doesn't matter in this particular game of solitaire because all the cards are face up. Eight in a row, four at the bottom, and then you try to get the aces on top. So I have no idea what that game is called, it's just one that my aunt taught me a long time ago. So I do that. Um, the same way some people will throw an I Ching when they don't know what's going on, I will play that game of cards. Another thing I do is um, I unplug things before I leave the house. It doesn't have to be everything, but certain things, especially the coffee maker or the toaster oven, this computer, um, a stereo, just th little things like that. If I feel like uh, you know, when I leave the house, if I feel like um, I haven't unplugged enough things, I will go back and unplug them. This is really bad. I think that people are going to think that I'm OCD now, and I'm really not. 
Um, I, I have some mental illnesses, but that's not one of them. And that one's really not a big deal. It's just something that I just feel compelled to do, but nothing is nothing bad is going to happen to me in my mind if I don't do it. It's just a funny habit that I have. Um, and then the other thing is I'm really, this is actually a phobia. I'm really deathly afraid of roaches to the point where I am always just always looking around to see if one's there and it's just if I you know if I see one I can't even breathe I can't even move I can't kill it I can't do anything I will you know after I can breathe again I will haul ass out of there and just get as far away as I can and it doesn't matter if they're dead um, some people say well it's dead it doesn't matter well it does matter because usually if it's dead it's on its back um, with its little feet and antenna <laughs> visible and it just creeps me out I can't deal with it. If I am going to take a shower, before I do that, I have to look in the shower to see if there's a roach because sometimes well, they have been known to come up through drains. And that's the same fear that some people have of taking a shower when they're alone in the house and they've seen the movie Psycho and they have this fear in the back of, of their mind about somebody coming in and stabbing them. My fear is, is that same fear, but it's roaches. Not roaches stabbing me, but <laughs> roaches being there in the bathtub. And um, that's about all I can think of. That's all I could think of um, before I turn this camera on. There are little things that are more physical that aren't really habits, but just things that um, I feel like I that have to be there, like perfume. If I don't have perfume on um, when I leave the house, I have to go back and put it on. One time I was halfway to work and I didn't have any on. So I came home and put some on. I can be completely without makeup, but I have to have perfume. I have no idea where that started. And another thing like that is I have to have um, some kind of blade near me at all times. I have a ninja sword by my bed and I have other, you know, various blades that I just, I like to have near me. The only one that I feel I can carry is a little pocket knife on a keychain. And um, so that's all I carry. But yeah, I kind of feel like I have to have knives or you know swords or something like that around me. Don't worry, I have never thought of killing anyone or slicing and dicing anyone. It's just something that I, it's just a personal thing that, you know, I have to have some kind of blade. Anyway, so I am going to, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking about me now and I'm going to bring the mouse over here so I can click out and wish you all a good weekend. It's my weekend now, four day weeks in the summer. So anyway, have a good one. Bye.